Uh, mimi naitwa Richard Mumuhimu Nyuka Senator wa Kisi County. Na niko hapa Mombasa kwa sababu nimekuja kikazi kwa kamati ya bajeti ya Senate. Jambo ambalo ningependa kuzungumzia ni jambo ambalo nyinyi wote mshaliona kuwa serikali kuu jana usiku wa usiku wa manane walienda kwa nyumba ya aliyekuwa aliyekuwa waziri wa mashauri ya ndani mheshimiwa Matiangi na haja yao ilikuwa kwenda kumshika ili wampeleke kutini na kulikuwa kuna vurugu na kelele mingi imetokea ningependa kusema hivi sina habari kamili ni nini kimetendeka kwa sababu mimi niko Mombasa lakini ununu ambao tumepata ni kuwa serikali kuu imeamua kuwa wataenda wamshike mheshimiwa Matiangi wampeleke kwa jela ama wampeleke kwa DCI ama ISC ili aende kujibia mastaka ambayo yameletwa kwake kile kitu ambacho ningependa kumuuliza rais William Ruto ni kuwa ikiwezekana um, Awache sheria ifanye kazi yake. Kama Matiangi amefanya, amevunja sheria wakati alipokuwa waziri na kuna ushahidi wa kutosha. Ningependa kumsihi rais kuwa isionekane kuwa yeye anataka kujishughulisha ili kuanza kuwafinya wale ambao walikuwa naonekana kuwa hampatii uh, ampatii support wakati alipokuwa anatoka kuwa rais wa Kenya nina uhakika kuwa ana wajibu wa kuhakikisha kuwa katiba imefuatiliwa na ana wajibu wa kuhakikisha kuwa hata wale wa Kenya ambao walikuwa hampatii uh, support kwa kura zake ama kwa uongozi alikuwa na, anatafuta ingekuwa vizuri ikiwezekana hayo mengine hayaachilii Jambo la pili ningependa kusema ni kuwa kama matakuwa wale wote ambao hawakuwa na yeye ama hawakumpa support ama hawakufanya siasa na yeye ni maadui kwa hivyo lazima wote wapigwe viboko sasa. Kwa sababu fikira yangu ni kuwa mheshimiwa William Ruto kazi yake sasa ni kujumlisha Kenya, kuunganisha wa Kenya kuhakikisha kuwa sisi wote ngawa tulikuwa upande mwingine na wengine walikuwa upande ule atulete sisi wote pamoja ili inchi ikae pamoja na tuhakikishe kuwa nchi yetu inaendelea kimaendeleo na tunafanya kazi ambako hakuna fitina ama hakuna siasa duni kuwasukuma wale ambao hawakuwa na yeye ningependa kumsihi ikiwezekana afanye hivyo kwa mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta afanye hivyo kwa Matiangi kwa Kibicho kwa mzee Raila na wale wote ambao hawakuwa na yeye thank you so much I would like to mention uh, something about what has happened, uh, what happened last night. Uh, the information I get because I'm in Mombasa with the Senate Committee on uh, Budget and uh, the feeling I'm getting is that the information we are getting about what is happening to former CS Matiangi uh, is not very clear. My only request would, would be this. I want to plead with President William Ruto. Many, many, many people, including me, who are not supporting him in the last elections. It was not personal. It was purely because of the local interest and because of the special interest that we take care of when we are elected as politicians. I would like to plead with the President to make sure that he does not encourage victimization and he doesn't push the people who are against him in the last elections so that it looks Right now it looks like he's being vindictive and right now it looks like he's against anybody, particularly the team which was on the other side. I'm actually making a very special plea that if Matiangi broke the law, let the law take its course, let the law handle the matter, let him not get any special, uh, special treatment or positively or negatively. Let the process take its course to its logical conclusion. And I want to plead with the president that we recognize him as the symbol of unity for this country. I think, and I've said this before, we really pray, some of us, that he is able to forget and let bygones be bygones.
because in politics sometimes there's attrition, there's disagreement, and there's hate. And now the elections are over, William Bruto has been sworn in. If Matiangi has not broken the law, then let his democratic, democratic rights and his human rights, let them not be violated. If he has broken the law, let him be taken to court normally, let him be charged, let the evidence be produced, and if there is any crime that he has committed, let him be punished according to the law. But I want to pray and I want to request the president, let it not look like he's being vindictive for those people who are not supporting him. But supporting him. Many of us want the country to move forward. Many of us want this country to be peaceful. Many of us want this country to have an engagement where all the political interested parties, all the political stakeholders will have a say and will have a position whereby we accept each other as brothers, even when we are in the opposition and even when we may disagree with what the president wants to do. We still want to make an assumption that this is competitive politics. But let it not look like because what the public is telling me from Kisi is that they are worried that Matiangi might end up being a victim out of the crossfire between what happened in Jubilee and the handshake between Mzeraila. I'm expecting also that the president will begin to think twice in terms of how he handles Raila, how he handles Matiangi here, how he handles Kibicho, and all the people who are against him. I think he needs to rethink the strategy and make sure that his res most important responsibility is that this country must be peaceful. That is why I have, I have been saying that yes, even us in the opposition, we are allowed by the constitution to have those rallies, we are allowed to talk about what we think is wrong with the country, but it must be peaceful and it must be done with a lot of dignity and respect. That is what democracy expect of, expects of us and that is what the public wants us to do. Kenyans do not want a country that is going to be fragmented, that is going to be divided, that is going to be tribal, that is going to be vindictive to people in this republic. We want a better country than we found. Thank you very much. Uh, Waende wa mzungumzie kama ni swala la kimaendeleo kama hii bajeti tuko hapa uh, wakati huu uh, Kenya Kwanza Lions ndio wako na majority. Kwa hivyo ile request ambayo president ataleta hapa wale wabunge ambao wako kwa makamati ya bunge na kamati ya senate ambao ndio wanashughulika kupanga mipangilio ambayo ni ya kuhakikisha bajeti italeta hela ambazo zinaelekea kwa mashinani. Unaweza kupata wabunge hawa wengine ama maseneta wangependa kumuliza rais awasaidie ili miradi ingine yende mahali ambako wanatoka shida iliyoko ni kuwa nchini mwetu Kenya hatujazoea kuwa unaweza kuwa kwa upande wa upinzani na hapo hapo tena umheshimu rais yule ambaye anaongoza nchi na anatoka kwa upande wa serikali ambayo inaongoza ndio nilikuwa nasema ule 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 uh, uh, confusion ama ule mchanganyiko ambao uko wakati huu wabunge wa wengi ni wapya maseneta ni wapya hawaelewi kazi yetu ya oversight kazi yetu kama wapinzani ambao tunataka tupinge serikali ambayo iko lakini tuipinge kwa heshima na tuhakikishe kuwa tuambie hapa mnaongoza vizuri na pale mnaharibu hilo ndio shida iko pili ukiangalia kawaida kuna wale ambao watajaribu kukimbia kwa rais wengine wapate nafuu kidogo wasaidiwe kifedha ama wafanya hayo mimi sitajingisha lakini mimi ningependa kusema kuwa lazima tuanze kuelewa wakati wale waliokuwa wakiandika katiba yetu haja yao na nia yao ilikuwa nini upinzani lazima tuwe na vita na serikali naongoza ama lazima tuonge, tuonge na serikali kama wameshinda kura ili tuanze kwa kuzungumziana kuelewana na kuhakikisha kuwa wananchi wa Kenya wanafaidika shida ndio hiyo so to respond to you, the problem is not whether the members of parliament and the senators are going to see President William Bruto. I don't think that is the issue. The issue is the ODM side and the Zimio side feels that if you have gone and seen the president, um, 
and uh, the pictures come out, it looks like you have gone to sell out and the purpose of that selling out is that you have gone for handouts and the purpose of that getting the handouts is because of your self-interest. But the truth and the reality is, is very simple. The democracy that we have, I'll give you an example. In America, when Biden was passing uh, a law last year, he had about 19 Senate, I mean, uh, members of Congress who are from the Republican Party. They sat with him, they talked with him, and they said, we are coming to see you, we are not leaving the Republican Party, but we are asking you to accommodate us so that some of the money that you are sending to our regions can come to our places because our people expect the money to come. And that's what happened. So one, I think the media and uh, Kenyans sometimes interpret our politics differently. The interpretation now is, oh, Azimio is collapsing, people are leaving, they are going, and therefore they are going to do their own thing. They are now supporting William Bruto, and therefore uh, Raila's party is finished. I don't think that is the issue. I think we need to understand that at some point, leaders must talk with each other. I believe we who are in the opposition, including myself, if William Bruto calls me and says, Richard, come and see me, I'll go and see him. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to become a member of uh, Kenya Kwanza Alliance. I will stand and say, your presidency, thank you. I, I, I recognize that you are here and I know your capacity and uh, I'm from Kizi County and the people want a certain road. Is it possible you allocate money for that road? And after that, uh, I'll shake his hand and, and walk out. If he gives me some cash, I'll take it. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. If he doesn't, I'll still appreciate. Why? Because I expect him to give me the road. So I don't think there's any reason why we should take it very seriously. One, it's too early. This is four months after the elections. And I understand exactly why the president would want to meet some of these members. The reason is, I think he feels like the rallies that, um, that uh, Azimio are having are going to start destabilizing his government and it may make it impossible for him to govern because then we divert our attention from the reality. The reality is here, we're here in Mombasa trying to agree on what the budget policy statement is going to be in the next one month. We are trying to allocate money to different counties. But now, we are now beginning to discuss issues of rallies and how we need to make the government dysfunctional and make sure that the Kenya Kwanza government doesn't move ahead. My feeling is both sides may have points. The reality in front of me, William Bruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. He has been sworn in. What do you do? He's the head of state, for at least for the next five years. And possibly, maybe the IG says yes. they, were no, they didn't send any police officers. What is your immediate reaction to that? My reaction is, I, I don't know that. If the IG says so, uh, I'm not in government, but I'm a Kenyan, I will take what he says seriously. Mm. But there are also some people who are saying that they were actually at Matiangi's place and there were vehicles and people who looked like they were police officers who wanted to go and arrest him. So my suggestion and my feeling is very simple. Matiangi has been a government, uh, a state officer. The, all that the government needs to do is send him a message, send him an, M, uh, an SMS, send a, um, a, um, an email to him, and all then call him and say, boss, can you come to the ESCC center? Can you come to DCI? We have issues that we want clarity. I don't think you need to send anybody to go and arrest Matiangi. He's dignified enough from the way I know him to walk in to a police station and sit there and issue a statement. If there is anything wrong he has done, take him to court. And what the court does is very clear to all of us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry.